Amidst this exchange, the passengers, undeterred by the looming threat, intensified their assault. At 10 hours, 2 minutes, and 17 seconds, a male voice erupted with urgency, demanding, turn it up. <laughs> Barely a moment later, a hijacker's cry pierced the chaos, echoing the same fervent directive, pull it down. <laughs> then at 10 hours, 2 minutes, and 33 seconds, Jara's voice broke through the din, a desperate plea reverberating in Arabic, each syllable laden with anguish. Give it to me. Give it to me. A plea, perhaps directed towards the plane's yoke, symbolizing his last grasp at control amidst the chaos of the skies. In the tumultuous crescendo of events, where the clash of wills reached its apex and the thunderous blare of the 757's master warning horn echoed throughout the cockpit, amidst the relentless rush of air at an unfathomable speed exceeding 500 miles per hour, a gripping struggle unfolded. Amidst this tempest, Ziad Jara's voice pierced the chaos, his fervent cries of the takbir screaming, Allah Akbar or Allah is the greatest, echoing through the tumult. Within this swirling vortex of sound and fury, a lone voice emerged with unyielding determination, cutting through the chaos like a beacon of hope. Pull up, 